Hi, welcome to Hoffman Academy. I'm Alex. Today I'd like to help you get started learning the theme to Mission Impossible. It's actually possible though. You got this. This arrangement is from our book, Mr. Hoffman's Popular Hits for Piano. If you don't have the book yet, there is a link below this video. I will go over a few of the trickiest measures with you to help you get started right, and I'll also show you how to play along with the practice track that is included with the book. Let's go to the piano. Today, we're going to learn measures 5 through 8, which is when the right hand and the left hand play their respective parts at the same time. But first, let's talk about this time signature, 5-4. This, believe it or not, is a very rare time signature. Most time signatures are 4-4, four, four, which means each measure is four quarter notes long. In other words, the music would be repeating a four beat pattern. Less common are time signatures like 3-4 or 2-4, which would be three beat patterns or two beat patterns. Those are our fairly common and normal sounding time signatures because they're easy to dance to. 5-4 is usually used by composers to purposely give an awkward pattern of strong and weak pulses. 5 beats per measure is just weird, unless you're the genius who wrote this theme. If you look at the left hand part in these measures, it looks like there are 4 beats there instead of 5. That's because the first 2 beats have been extended by a half a beat each. That's why there's those dots there. Dots next to any note adds an extra half a value to that note. So, 1.5 plus 1.5 plus 1 plus 1 equals 5. And we're left with that unforgettable Mission Impossible bass line, like this. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, like that. It also sounds like this. Long, long, short, short, long, long, short, short, like that. Let me show you how to play that left hand part. The fingers of your hand have numbers to help us know which finger to play on which note. The thumbs of each hand are finger one, and then it goes out from there, finger two, three, four, and five. You'll start with the left hand finger three on this low G, which is the first white key inside the group of three black keys. If you're sitting at the middle of the keyboard, it will be the second trio of three black keys to your left, right here. You'll play that G twice, one, two, and then reach up to the last black key here with your second finger. This is B flat. Then you'll step up to C with your thumb or finger one. And then you'll come back to the G with finger three again. And play it twice. Then, this move is a little weird. The next note is F right here, but even though it's the next note down, you're not gonna use finger four. You're going to squish that part of your hand together just a bit so that you can play it with finger five. You can also tilt your wrist to the right like this to allow more fr room for your finger five. This is because the next note is F sharp right here, which you'll play with finger four, and then back to the G again with finger three. These three notes will be a lot easier to play if you use these three fingers in a row like this. Five, four, three. So that's the entire left hand part. Let's put it all together one more time slowly. Ready? Here we go. Long, long, Short, short, long, now finger five, four, and three. Good. Go ahead and pause the video so you can play that a few more times on your own. Push play again when you're ready. Great. Before we learn the right hand, let's look at another way of counting the rhythm of the left hand. Instead of counting two long beats and two short beats, we can count eighth notes. Now there aren't any eighth notes in there, but we can sort of pretend. Dotted quarter notes are worth three eighth notes, while quarter notes are worth two eighth notes. So we can count these all like this. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, one, two. When you count like this, it's important to not pause after any of the numbers. Just keep on going no matter what. Let's count all four measures like that, just counting. Ready? Go. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, one, two, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, one, two, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, one, two, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, one, two. Excellent. Now let's try playing it again while we count this way. 
In position. All right, slow at first. Ready, go. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, one, two, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, one, two, and again. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, one, two, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, one, two. Great, now pause the video and practice a few more times. Try counting out loud and then try a few times counting in your head only as well. Push play again when you're ready. Awesome. Now let's learn this right hand part. The first note is B flat, which is the third black key of this group of three black keys right here off to the right. And we see a number five above it, which means that we'll put finger five on it like this. Next, we'll skip down to G with finger three, then stretch down to thumb on D, which is right here between the two black keys. The rhythm for these three notes is a fairly fast rhythm, so go ahead and practice that a couple times, like this. And again. Great. The next measure has a very similar figure. The only difference is the D has a flat which makes it a half step lower right here. So practice this one, just like the first measure a few times. Ready, go. Good, and again. Good, the third measure is like the first two, just with that last note one half step even lower on the C, like this. And again. Good. This last measure is a fun one. After holding that C in the third measure, you'll need to reach over your thumb with your second finger like this, which is a B flat right here. Then quickly step back up to the C, except this time without holding it. To get back to the C, you can use either your thumb again like this, or you can use finger three like this, which is how I like to play it. Now let's play all four of those measures Right hand only. Ready? In position? And go. To the D. Here comes D flat. Third measure to the C. And now B flat over. Great. Now pause the video and play the right hand part on your own. Don't worry too much about the counting yet because we'll practice that when we put the hands together. Push play when you're ready. Great, now let's put the hands together. Go ahead and put both hands in position. Left hand here on G, and right hand here on the B flat. Now if you got pretty comfortable with counting the one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, one, two rhythm, then this will be really easy. The right hand notes of these first three measures will fit nicely into the first three counts of that first left hand note. Check this out. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, one, two, and again, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, one, two, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, one, two. The only slightly disorienting part is this last measure that only has two notes in the right hand, but you'll still need to count to three for that first beat in the left hand, like this. One, two, three, one, two, three. Let's try that all together with both hands. I'll count off with one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, one, two, so that we can start playing together at the same time and the same speed. Ready? One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, one, two. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, one, two. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, one, two. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, one, two. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, one, two. Excellent. Go ahead and either rewind the video to play that with me a few more times, or pause and play it all on your own at your own tempo. When you get back, I'll demonstrate the whole song along with the backing track that is included with the book.
Thanks for learning along with me today. This is just one of 17 songs found in Mr. Hoffman's popular hits for piano. This book is designed to help you learn how to play some of our most requested songs. Each song includes practice tips and challenges to help you grow your skills. And the book also comes with instrumental practice tracks that you can play along with. Check out the link below to get a copy. Thanks for watching and learning with Hoffman Academy, and happy music making.